Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on the different types of brushes that I use for my nail art and how I use them. Okay, uh, so first off, these are the brushes that I use the most. Um, these ones here, I just have a medium one, a really skinny one, and some other ones that are kind of pointy. I use them for different things, but most of my nail art consists of these brushes here. Also, these are some other brushes that I may use as well. Um, maybe not as much, but they're kind of handy to know how to use. And I figured while I was looking at brushes, I might as well look at some dotting tools as well. So I'll just show you how I'll be using these tools in all my nail art. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with this brush here. Um, this is one of the thin brushes that I use. It's good for detailing, it's good for lines. I don't know, it's not really good for filling in, so I wouldn't suggest it for that. Um, so basically, when you're using this brush, um, to get thin detail, if you can see the tip there, it's really thin. The only way you can get thin detail is only if you dip a little bit of paint in. I know a lot of people kind of just swirl it all the way around the paint and then it's too much on the brush and that's why you can't get thin lines. So um, I'll just show you how I use this brush. All right, before I go on, it's really important um, for me to stress the fact that with all your brushes, so it doesn't matter which brush you have, this one or this one and this, I would stress that you only use them for one purpose. So if you're using them for paint, use them strictly for paint only. Don't mix and match with um, nail polish. I use a brush specifically just for nail polish. I have one that's similar to this one here that I use for nail polish, but that's about it. So. Um, please keep in mind that that's really important. It stops your brushes from getting wrecked and hard and stiff and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, keep that in mind. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you when I dip my brush into the paint, what I like to do is dip it in the colour but then kind of move back and forth just to strip some of the colour off so that the brush is still got a bit of paint on it but not that much. So you see the brush is still retained its kind of thinness. So when you're making lines, with this I use it to outline things so then you have a nice line there. Um, I guess the kind of important thing with brushes is the brushes are important but the brush work is pretty important as well, like the technique. Um, with all my designs I've used the same brush like pretty much and you can see how I can achieve different types of thicknesses of lines that really depends on how you use the brush so with this this is how I kind of create this type of line for outlining but if I want really thin detailed you can see with the tip of this is really fine all you want to do is just kind of just nip your paint a little bit so you have like really little color so you can see there, I've only got that little tiny bit of paint on it and then when you draw things in, I'm not sure what you want to draw but say you want to draw a couple lines and with the light pressure you can see how it's made a difference in the thickness of the line so I guess that's really important for that kind of thing also if you want it to be a little bit easy you can wet your brush a little bit and then dip it in paint and it will make it a little bit runnier so it will make it easier to control to get smoother lines so again, I've wet my brush and then I've dipped a little bit more in it. If you want thin, wispy detail, just lightly, very lightly brush your brush just over the nail. You don't want to apply too much pressure because what happens is your brush will fan out and then you'll get a really thick line. So that's that brush. Okay, also I forgot to mention that with brushes, when I use them, I always wash them pretty regularly, meaning that when I've made a couple of strokes, I go wash it out and then come back to it again and then do a few more strokes and then wash it out. I think that's the best way to get your paint or your polish clump free. So um, that's something to consider as well. Okay, the next brush I'll be showing you is this one here. If I can get it in focus. Um, this one is slightly thicker. It's kind of got a tapered end, but it's not as pointy as the one that I have to show you after. Um, this one I will use for filling in. I don't really use it for anything else. Um, sometimes if I want to create a thick line, I would use this. So I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit and show you. If I was creating lines, just the same thing. Kind of rub my brush in it so that there's only a bit of product. I don't like to load my brush unless I'm filling in. So I just drew a heart first there. I'll show you how to fill it in later. So this one I can use to create lines. 
you know, like that. It's perfect for creating these cup type of lines, or it's great for creating um, zebra type of designs, I suppose. Um, it's really up to you if you want thick or thin, but again, the pressure of the brush. Lift it up slightly for a thinner end and hold it down if you want a thicker line. That's basically it. So now I'm just going to show you with filling in. Okay, so with the paint, um, I'm just using pink to fill in the heart. When I want to load up my brush, I just swirl it around in the paint. And then if it's not enough, then I'll just add more. Just swirl it around until I have a good amount. The thing is, some paints are less opaque than others. Usually a lot of pastels and those kind of colours might tend to bold. So if your colour doesn't bold, feel free to not use as much. But this is a pretty solid pink, so I won't need as much. So when you're filling in, this is good for filling in, so I'm just going to swirl it around the centre and then kind of work around it. What you want to do is kind of just smear the paint around. And that's it. That's how you fill in the heart. I mean, if you kind of go over the black, you can always come back in with the black. But, um, you know, if you're not picky about it, then you can just leave it. So that's that brush.